Today I'm going to be showing you guys all the area expansion creatures, which there are 12 and we're going to start with Giant Metrodon, which has three pretty cool abilities actually. I absolutely love its abilities. The only downside to this Dimetrodon, Dimetrodon is its stats. It doesn't have the best health, but I think the abilities kind of make up for it. Alright, so we have our beautiful Dimetrodon over here that has absolutely no jump power. Our third ability actually shreds 50% armor and the third attack. I just want to show you what this attack looks like. It's just going to attack three times and on a third time, it's going to destroy their armor, which is very, very useful for dinosaurs like these. As you can see, it's just two normal attacks and then an armor debuff. And then now if I attack it, it's going to have less armor than it normally would. And it has very loud roars. Oh my god. Okay. So this is pretty good for ankylosaurs. Whenever they're using their armor abilities or whatever, you could just use this ability with your teammates and whatever. And they're going to have low armor for six seconds, which is pretty useful. We can launch forward. Now this is a basic attack, but it deals some good damage. Just 40 damage, which is pretty good. And, oh, and it can like lunge you forward, so it's pretty good for running away, I think. I don't know. So the first attack is a passive. If you land three attacks without missing, you're gonna have a buff. And if you keep not missing and attacking them constantly, it's gonna keep stacking and you're gonna have lots of attacks and speed. So as you can see, this is one attack, two attack, three attacks. And you can see my damage is getting higher as I bite it more. It went from 25 to like 30. So now I'm dealing like 30 damage. So this is pretty good if you don't miss. But if you do miss, if you miss once like I just did, you're gonna lose your stack. So you have to be careful. Let's see if we can kill this Mayhem because I'm not sure if we can. Oh my god, okay. So yeah, that's what the lunge is useful for. You can just go through them. They're not even gonna notice. And I think I can just kill them in two bites. So the attack is actually really good on the Demetrodon. So, oh, a fruit. Nice. Alright, let's move on. Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys this thing can swim. And I just starved to death, but it can swim pretty fast. Alright, next up we have Dodo. I'm pretty sure I don't even need to talk about Dodo because all of you, I'm pretty sure all of you already know what Dodo is famous for. The Dodo X. So I'm just going to show the other abilities first. It can do a little flinging attack. So if you hit someone with this, this is actually pretty overpowered. It deals like 54 damage. It's not really overpowered, but... It's pretty good for something with 90 health. The Dodo is pretty much useless whenever you're not using the Dodo Rex ability. And there is a cooldown, so you're gonna be useless like half the time. The only way you can escape a predator when you're a normal Dodo is your jump power. So you could just jump above stuff. You always wanna be near something that you can jump above. Now, the Dodo Rex. It's a very, very, very unnecessarily overpowered version of Dodo. It has 650 health, very insane speed. And whenever you jump, by the way, it has low stamina, but whenever you jump, it gives you a little speed boost, which is so overpowered. This is like the speed of an Ornithomimus, or even faster. Except it has 650 health and deals 50 damage per bite. It's absolutely insane. This thing could take down like the strongest stuff in the game. People just pretty much abuse this in wars and whatever, so it's really overpowered. But whenever you transform back, which I will in 10 seconds, you're just gonna become weak and they can kill you. Next up we have Arthropleura. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So the first ability is a speed ability. It increases the speed by 50% and it goes down over the 7 seconds to your normal speed. But this is pretty useful for chasing people because this thing is really fast. But the problem is its health. But it has two cool abilities where here it can like launch a little projectile where it can deal 18 damage. I'm not sure how... The damage works in this one. Let's test this ability. The problem is that it's moving so much. I think if I stop moving, it's gonna stop moving too. Like, because it's gonna be busy attacking me. So I'm just gonna use it over here. Oh. So, oh, because this thing has a lot of defense. It's dealing 3 damage per 0.2 seconds. But normally it would deal 7. And this is overpowered. I just dealt 100 damage. So our next ability is a cloud of acidic gas. Let's just leave him in here. Alright. So I don't think it deals any damage, but I think it's just a debuff for their damage at their max stamina. So they're going to become weaker for 3 seconds after they leave the cloud, so it's pretty good. Alright, next up we have Smilodon. Now, this is pretty straightforward, it's just a really fast lion dinosaur thing. If you sneak for 3 seconds, and I'm pretty sure you use V to sneak, yeah. 3 seconds, whenever you become invisible, as soon as you start running, you're going to be really fast for 5 seconds, so... Look at this. And if you uh, card this Smilodon with speed, it's going to be way faster. And it also attacks really fast. Like, look at this. But the problem is its health also, because if you get caught, you're going to become slower. And if they're faster than you, you're basically dead. But then we have... Uh, now, we have an, now we have a really overpowered ability called Finishing Blow, which deals 50% of the target's missing health up to 100 damage. So let's say you damage the Brachio for... 
200 damage using your normal attacks. If you use this attack, it's gonna deal 100 damage. I can also do this. It's just a lunge forward which slows down people and deals extra damage, so it's good. The problem about sneaking is if you get attacked while you're sneaking, it's gonna be cancelled. So let's see if we can last for 3 seconds without being attacked. Come on, come on, go invisible, go invisible. Yes! Yes! Okay, I got away. I'm good. This thing is very, very overpowered if you know how to use it because you can like range people with your really fast attack speed and just use these two abilities. They're gonna be really good. Alright, next up we have Mammoth, which is an Apex actually. It has over 500 health. It has 650 health, which is very good. It has some pretty decent damage. The only downside to the Mammoth is its speed. So you can't really... I think a Rex can beat Mammoth. Our first attack is... You can basically do this little roar. Which, whoever's near you, they're gonna have their M1 thing, like their normal attack, have a cooldown 2.5 times. I don't know if I'm wording this right, for 8 seconds. Basically, their normal attack is gonna be way slower, and I think this is useful for Dodorex. Because if you're fighting a Dodorex, all it can use is its normal attack. The second ability, which is probably my favorite, it deals 100 damage, it just does a little stomp. Wait, I'll show you guys in a second, look at this. It's a ranged attack too, which is so overpowered. It deals 100 damage from far away. This is a pretty good attack unless the enemy has good jump power because they will jump above the ice things. And our third attack is just a little push with your tusk, which is like this. This is good for people who are trying to tank you. So if a Dodorex is like coming at you and you can't run away, you could just use that to push them away and then you can use this attack, which is very good. All right, next up we have the Hippo, which is probably one of my favorites. And it has a pretty good bite. Um, but this can be tanked by normal creatures like Giga and Rex, so you have to be careful when using this. Now the best thing about the Hippo that you need to keep in mind is its passive ability, which basically when you're in the water, you're just stronger. Your stamina replenishes quicker, your energy does too, and you're gonna get hungry slower, and your thirst isn't even gonna go down. And the third one is just a pretty big bite, which deals 42 damage. It's not really that overpowered, but it's still pretty good. Take a look at this, I'm walking in the water. This is absolutely my favorite thing to do. Okay, next up is Paraceratherium. Probably the strongest area expansion creature. It's definitely the biggest, it's really, really big. I don't know if it shows, but it's actually huge. Paraceratherium has 825 health, which is absolutely insane. And it deals some pretty good damage. But what's even crazier is its abilities. All its abilities deal a ton of damage. So if I just can catch up to this Rex, I'm gonna show you. Basically, here's the first attack, which can... It deals 13 damage every time something, one of those white rings comes out, which is overpowered, because it can probably deal like 400 damage, maybe. I don't know what's wrong with AI roars these days. Next up, we have JLo JK, JK Lopterus, which is basically a fish creature. Now, I don't know how this thing does on land, but I'm in water right now, and it swims really fast. So it has some pretty decent attack speed, and it has really bad health. So I don't know if this is a good dino for fighting our first ability just launches at people i guess so it's gonna like for okay that didn't work but it basically launches at them and deals like low damage but it slows them for four seconds so that's good and then our second ability it basically sheds your skin it boosts you for like 10 seconds and you're gonna be really fast but you're not gonna have any armor so if you get hit while you're in this state you're gonna die and your third ability is a charging ability you can charge it for five seconds and it actually stuns people for like four seconds okay i'm gonna start charging it from now I think, I think it's gonna work now. No! No, I missed! Anyway, I'm gonna use my charging ability now. 80%, okay. No! <laughs> I missed again. <laughs> Look at this poor Jekyll Lopterus. This kinda looks like the silverfish from Minecraft. Alright, this is like my third attempt on the third ability. If this does not work, the coily can't literally can't move. If this doesn't work, I'm done. Okay, there we go. There we go. You can see how overpowered that is if you land it though. So I think this thing can like launch out of the water. Yep, that's pretty cool. Oh, so it's actually not a land creature. It's not really good on land. It's an amphibian, I think. But it's actually pretty cool. Alright, next up we have a Megather- Okay. Next up we have Megatherium. Which, um, I kind of showcased this creature on, like, the past video, but who cares? The first ability is a passive ability where it just grows moss on your body and that gives you some armor stack. As you can see, my health is higher than my max health by 60. So it increases your health by 60 and whenever you- Use some sort of ability. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, it's the first ability. No, it's the third ability. So this one. This one actually heals you for a lot of health. I think it's like 30% of your max health. I don't know. And the other ability is a wall ability, which you just saw me accidentally use. But it's a basically an ability where you can create a wall this big. And you can kind of trap creatures that can't jump in this thing. But it also gives you extra health and armor as long as you're in the walls of this thing. 
So it's pretty good because it can protect you and your pack. Alright, next up we have Woolly Rhino, which is probably my favorite area expansion creature. It looks pretty cool, and it has some pretty cool abilities. So it can charge, like, for 5 seconds, and if you hit something, it's actually gonna, like... It should push them away into the air. It didn't work because this is a mayhem and it's killing me, but... And my third ability is... I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. It's like the mammoth ability, actually. Except it fruits them, which means your enemy is not going to be able to move, but they're going to be able to attack. So you can use this thing and rage them for like two hits, and then they're going to be able to move again. And your second ability is just a healing ability where you can have a bunch of birds healing you for 5% of your current HP for six seconds, every second. I don't know if I worded that correctly either, but it's just a healing ability. And I absolutely love this one because you, you can use this to run away from people and you can use it to like launch them. So, All right, next up we have Gigantopithecus. You can't really use any of the abilities unless you're an elder, but uh, for now we have this uh, very cool running animation. So I'm just going to grow this thing real quick and then I'll showcase. All right, I'm an elder now and oh my god, there's a mayhem. Okay, this is a perfect chance to use my abilities. So the third one is just a traveling ability and you can use this for as much as you want, but it's going to take your energy away. So you just want to save your energy, and you don't want to use this for too long. You can use it for as long as you want, which is my favorite thing about its ability. Look at this idiot trying to jump to get to me. And whenever you stop using it, you can just, like, go down. It's going to, like, stomp and do some damage, and I think it stuns them. Yeah. So, the second ability is you have two walls, and you just clap. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to die. So, the first ability... So, it just keeps slowing them down or whatever. And it's still chasing me for some reason. So I'm gonna use this. Now here's a good combo that you guys need to know if you ever use monkey. You use the speed ability, you stomp down, they're gonna be stunned, and then you use the clapping ability because they can't move. That's basically monkey. You can also climb trees, I'm pretty sure. For some reason I can't climb trees right now because uh, there's something wrong with my monkey. And our final era expansion creature. The Pulmono Scorpius, which can also climb trees, but it's not gonna work as usual. Our first ability is a passive ability, where whenever you attack someone, it's gonna stack Venom. And Venom isn't like poison. It just takes away their stamina, I think, and their energy. I'm not really sure. Let me check. Yeah, it takes their stamina away. So it's gonna keep taking them as long as, you're, as, long as you have your uh, Venom on them. So they're gonna be super tired, and they're not gonna be able to move, and then you could just finish them off. So your second ability, you can launch onto them, which I think this roots them. Yeah, it doesn't work on the AI, but this would normally stop them from moving for 3 seconds, which is very good. And it heals you too, so it's really good, because they can't attack you while you're using it, because you're going to be healing. Your third ability is just a little area attack, which... I'm not sure, it deals some pretty good damage, I know that. It silences them, that means they're not going to be able to use their abilities for 5 seconds. Now that's really good, the only downside to this is it's health and it's swimming it can, this thing cannot swim if you can't really swim like all you're gonna be doing is walking underwater you know what that's not even that bad but it can't go up like it can't dive back up so you can't really chase people if they start swimming let's just see how we can do against the triceratops ai okay let's kill this thing so i don't think my venom really does anything because this is an ai and i'm not sure if it has any uh any stamina thing but you can see it stack whenever you attack that rhymed Anyways, goodbye Triceratops. Oh my god, please, oh my god.